All right, so I just described all of the foods that are associated with improved outcomes over time. Nobody argues with that. Never once in all of the lectures I have given to patients and providers has somebody raised their hand and said, your data doesn't make sense, right? Fruits, vegetables, slow progression, that doesn't add up. We all have our biases. We all like some of the foods on the bad list. We'll call it the bad list. Um, and I'm just the messenger. I'm not here to ruin your life, to take away your favorite food. I just want to tell you, here's what the data says. Here's what we're seeing. Okay, so according to this new updated analysis we just did, we adjusted for age, gender, years since diagnosis, and income. And what we learned is that the people who had the the foods associated with the fastest rate of Parkinson's progression were canned fruits and canned vegetables, soda, especially diet soda, fried foods, beef, chicken, pork, dairy, specifically yogurt, cheese, ice cream, and milk, and pasta and frozen vegetables were the things that came up on the fast progression list. So let's take a minute to kind of just dissect each one of these and see if it makes sense. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to have a little mechanistic understanding. And again, the study does not tell us anything about mechanisms. This is where I start guessing. Right now, I can tell you this is what the data says and I stand behind the data. From here, when I start talking about, is it the polyphenols or the you know, reactive oxygen species or the, when I try and make sense of the data is where I start guessing. And I'm just telling you that some of you are more science minded. Some of you find that understanding the mechanism helps you stay to task a little bit better. So I will throw in, I will throw in a little bit of that here and there, but my goal is to keep this as, as simple and as simple as possible and just make it easy for you to go grocery shopping and decide what to have for lunch.